Oh my God. Oh my God, people. It's the bear here once again. Oh my God. This is the reason why Cody and pirated shit is on the internet right now. This is the reason why. Trailers do no justice for a movie. It show you snippets of what's good of a movie. Snippets. If you're in the snippets, you know, if you're uh if you if you think that snippets trailers is gonna tell you what a movie is about, just like Batman versus Superman, that damn trailer overhyped hot garbage. Like what like hot uh how they time say hot garbage. If you if you see stuff like that and that's what you go on, if that's what makes you hype of a of a trailer of a game or a movie, and then you go and and play the damn thing or go see the damn thing and it's not good, it's it's the marketing's job to make sure that. People look at the best parts of a game or a movie. Now, if you're like me, I'd rather wait for reviews. I'd rather wait for reviews from reliable sources. Reliable sources only. Jeremy Jones, reliable. IGN, at times reliable. Angry Joe, reliable. Uh, Chris Stuckman, reliable. People like them, when it comes to games and when it comes to movies, look for them first before you go and, and buy something, buy a movie or buy uh, 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 be, go to the movies and pay a ticket, whatever, or buy a game. Look for reviews. I, I, I just said that before. This thing here is super hot garbage. IMDB gave a 6.2. I would have gave it less than that. Rotten Tomatoes, 34%. I agree. I would have given it a little bit less than that. IGN gave it a, a 3 out of 10. Yes, I agree with that, but I think it would still have been less than that. Hot. Super. Garbage. And let me tell you something. If you think that this movie is good, this is the reason why... Cody exists. And there's the reason why a lot of companies hate Cody. Okay? But let me tell you something. When you go to the movies and you don't do a review, you don't watch a review on, on this thing here, like a movie like this, and you go on whatever you've seen on the trailer, and then you're just like super disappointed. Disappointed because you went to go see a movie like this and you wasted $30, $40 on some $40, $50 for two people. For two people. $30, $40. There's some theaters that cost $15 a ticket. Some cost $10, some cost $15. This is the reason why. <laughs> Things like Cody exists. And I watched this movie on Cody now. With the bad cam that was on Cody, on, on the Cody thing. And I couldn't get a good cam, so I watched it on a bad cam. That, on top of the movie being bad itself, was like bad to the fifth power. But hey, I you know, I looked at the reviews... From Angry Joe and, and Jeremy Jones. And after seeing that, I'm glad I watched it on Cody. There's only a certain amount of movies that I might go to the movie to go see. Star Wars, yes. Star Wars, yes. Yes. If you want to have a good time with a, with a bunch of people, you know, a bunch of nerdy people, Star Wars nerds out there, the best way to do that is to go to the movies and, and get the rush and feel that. You want to go to the movies for good movies. I always recommend going to the movies 
for good movies. John Wick 2, yes. If you want to go and have a good time and watch a good movie, go to John Wick 2, yes. Movies like that is worth going to the movies for. Okay? But this here, hell no. And I had to make sure that I had to watch the review first before I had to decide whether to go to the movies or watch it on Cody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I said, after looking at the reviews, I said, well, hell with it. I looked through, like, on Cody and I was looking. I know everybody know what Cody is. I'm not even going to explain what that is. And I was looking through and I was like, I see Resident Evil 7. And I was looking, I was like, should I really take a look at it? I mean, <coughs> everybody said how, how bad it is already and stuff. And I'm looking, I'm like, maybe I should, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's bad and it's on the cam, it's going to look super bad. So I don't know. You know, it's going to look crazy bad. All dark and shit, which it was. Um... So I said, let me just watch it on Cody. John Wick 2, I want to go to the movies to go see because I heard that's good. I want to definitely go to the movies so see that. Even if I have to go myself, I don't care. I'll pay it. It's it's like $11 at uh, Regal. I'll go pay it. I don't care. So I watched this movie on Cody. And boy, was it bad. The shaky cam... And the cutscenes galore. Shaky camera. Cut. I'm not going to spoil anything for y'all. Just in case you want to go see it, you go ahead. But I'm telling you right now, my rating on this movie would have been a 2 out of a 10. 2 to 3 out of 10. The only reason why I would give it a 3 is because of Milja Jonovich. She still looked good after all these years. And I hope, I hope Hollywood gets her out of that that. Alice character of Resident Evil and put her into like uh, some kind of TV series or something like that. I want to see more of of, of Milja Jonovich, but I damn sure don't want to see. Don't make a final sequel to the final sequel. Don't do no shit. Make kill Resident Evil. You know, don't come back in five years or something like that. Because I damn sure don't want to see another Saw either. I don't want to see another fucking... Don't make a damn saw. Don't make a damn saw after that last one. Please don't. And do not. I will rage like all hell if you make another Resident Evil after this dog shit. Like Jeremy Jones gave it. He gave it dog shit. Shit happened. Dog shit. Do not do another Resident Evil later on down the line as a reboot or something like that. Do not do it. I swear to If you do it, you're going to hear a rage out of me like no other. I swear for God. I swear I will do a rage like no other. Don't do it. Anyway, I'm back. Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil Final Chapter. <coughs> Whatever you want. Ooh. Still got a cold, people. Whatever you want to call this hot garbage. It is the worst, one of the worst movies I've ever seen in a long time. I'd rather see Gods of Egypt. I'd rather go see Ghostbusters than to see this. And I hated Gods of Egypt and uh, Ghostbusters. But I'd rather see them than to see this again. Shaky cam and just, you know what it's like? It's like, uh, it's like an action sequence going around, like a, it's an action sequence, right? And you got 30 cameras all around that action sequence, and they switch to each camera. You don't know what the hell's going on because it's so dark, and they jumping all over the damn place. You don't know what's going on. That's how bad this thing is. I wanted to do a little spoiler section, but I'm not gonna do that. If you want to see, a, if you want to hear the spoiler section or something like that, go watch Angry Joe. I'm not gonna do it. It's bad enough even me just doing a what is it now? Ten minutes of this. I'm, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna prolong 
and do a, a spoiler section of this, you know. Um, but this movie was so bad. And I know people out there, directors and stuff, and Hollywood people and stuff, they're like, you know, Cody is, is cutting into our budgets and stuff like that. I'm going to say this again. I highly recommend people going to see movies that are worth, worth, worth seeing. But if a movie is bad, watch it on Cody. And then, you know what I'm saying? If you, whatever, if you think you can get, you know, if you want to go and pay the money, then go into the movies later. You know what I'm saying? But I highly recommend going to the movies, you know, for movies that's worth going to go see. This is not one of those movies. Resident Evil 7 is not, not, not worth going to go see the final chapter, whatever the hell you want to call it. This thing is horrible. It's, it's absolutely the worst movie, one of the worst top 10 movies I have ever seen in my life. Matter of fact, I'm going to put Resident Evil, the final chapter, up there with damn Saw, the final chapter. I'm going to put that right up there with the top five. The, 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 the last saw was garbage. Uh, it was like they ran out of tricks in their mind to do. And they just threw some stuff out there. And whatever money that they could get from it, they just said, you know, well, hey, fuck it. We got no more traps in our head. We can't think of anything else. So we're gonna, just going to push this out. And whatever money we can get from it, we'll just get from it. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I got a bad cold. And I'm sorry for all the cursing. But after seeing this movie, even sitting at home watching on Cody, I'm, I got a headache after it. I got a headache. Shaky cam and cut, jump cuts galore. Worse than, I mean, Gaza, I thought Gaza Egypt was bad. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like El Presidor said, oh, my God. This thing was the worst. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to give you my little taste of, and tell y'all and urge y'all to go watch anything. Go watch John Wick 2. Get up, on the, get up on the couch and go watch John Wick 2. If you're into the movies right now, do that. Do yourself a favor because... You know, I haven't really seen that yet, but I will go see it. But I heard nothing but good things of John Wick 2. And so I'm going to go and see that myself. If you want to go to the movies, if you have an urgency to go to the movies, do yourself a favor, John Wick 2, for the win. This is the Bear and I'm out. Peace.